Okay, so our next topic is lipids, and lipids uh, are a class of biological molecules that essentially uh, can be dissolved in organic solvents, but not in water. Uh, lipid, the name lipid comes from the Greek word lipos, which means fat. And so uh, that's where, you know, that's one of the reasons why uh, they can't just be dissolved in water and they are dissolved in organic solvents because a lot of them are nonpolar. Or, as we'll see, some of the molecules have nonpolar uh, sides to them, or nonpolar regions, and uh, polar regions as well. So, uh, some of the types of lipids that we're going to discuss uh, are, you know, things that you've heard of. Uh, pretty much on an everyday basis, like waxes are lipids. Uh, everyone's heard of cholesterol, that is a type of lipid. Um, you hear often in the news trans fats or trans fatty acids. That's another type of lipid that we will discuss. Uh, again, their, uh, their property that sort of joins this big class of molecules is the fact that they're mostly nonpolar and dissolve easily in organic solvents, but the structures of them are very different. Unlike carbohydrates, which are built upon monomers of monosaccharides, uh, whether it be disaccharides or polysaccharides, the structures of lipids can be very, very different. So let's start with fatty acids. Okay, so the, the, the name tries to give it away what's going on. Uh, fatty acids have a long, uh, nonpolar, hydrocarbon chain and the word acid implies that well of course they have a acid functional group they have end with a carboxylic acid okay uh, so if we wanted to draw one of these all we would have to do is draw a non or polar carbon chain and then end the molecule with a carboxylic acid functional group and of course we can come up with the structure of this um, fatty acid okay as a ch3 group and then one two three four four ch2 um, in the middle and then usually how it's uh, re abbreviated in condensed format is the COOH functional group for a carboxylic acid. All right, so this is a fatty acid with, oh, I forgot the four, four uh, carbon. So this would be a, what, C5, 6, C6 fatty acid. And of course, uh, you already know, we could actually name these very easily based on that. Since it's six carbons, this would be hexanoic acid. Most of these have common names. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I had to look up this one. This is caproic acid. Based on me drawing hexanoic acid. Okay, so of course, um, Initially, we talked about lipids are nonpolar, so this uh, fatty acid, uh, the hydrocarbon chain, is very nonpolar, so that's what limits its solubility in water. It does have this uh, carboxylic acid functional group, which is polar, and so that is um, contains hydrogen bonding and dipole dipole forces, so that it would be attracted to water. So the solubility of fi fatty acid is entirely dependent on the length of this chain. The shorter the chain is, the more soluble it is water 
the longer the chain is, the less soluble it is in water. This would be an example of a saturated fatty acid. And the reason why it is saturated is it has all of the double or all of the hydrogens uh, it can um, have connected to those carbon atoms. Uh, this terminology is coming directly from our alkene discussion earlier. Uh, unsaturated fatty acids would have a double bond somewhere. Okay, and so we could of course draw one of those. If I drew this fatty acid and put a double bond there, obviously that turns it into a fatty acid. And since I drew it in this fashion, where I have the hydrogens and the alkyl groups on opposite sides of the double bonds, this is a trans fatty acid. And then, of course, I could draw a, another one. Let's do it down here or over here. And now I've drawn a cis fatty acid because of that double bond is in the cis uh, position or the cis uh, isomer of that double bond is what I've drawn. All right, and of course uh, you hear trans fats in the news a lot and uh, it turns out they're uh, not as healthy for us as other uh, biological molecules. And the reason why is, of course, just the different shapes of these molecules. This, the fact that this has a cis uh, uh, configuration of the double bond versus the trans configuration of the double bond gives these two molecules actually a very different shape. And that's going to impact their physical properties, and it also impacts how our enzymes can metabolize them because of the fact that they are different shapes. And as we will see, uh, enzymes, the ability of enzymes to metabolize biological molecules is very uh, dependent on the shapes of molecules.